The redevelopment of the Ball and Ski project centered on a complex set of components. We had to completely overhaul a tight historic urban site into simple, flexible, buildable and reliable concepts. There were so many distinct elements that needed individual considerations and sophisticated engineer techniques enabled the ambitions of this project to be realized. For example, we looked at the constructability and the phase development of this challenge site. We carefully examined the existing buildings and made a decision to demolish a few buildings and significantly refurbish others. We also constructed three new towers and a pedestrian bridge. A key decision made early in the design process was to limit the glazing ratio on the towers and set the solar and thermal performances of the building fabric to future-proof the development and to enable excellent building energy performance without compromising on daylight. A bespoke and tested unitized curtain wall facade system in both capped and structural glaze variations was developed to satisfy the architectural intent to suit the various facade treatments to the different elevations to achieve enhanced quality and to allow for a speedy installation. The retained buildings were refurbished to improve their structural condition and to allow the buildings to be repurposed for new uses. This included underpinning, repointing, repairing cracks and replacing damage render, all whilst retaining as much as possible of the existing building fabric. New structures were also provided to the retained buildings to suit new uses and the different loading requirements, such as new timber floors on refurbished cast iron columns, composite concrete slabs on cellular steel beams and slim deck floors, and new RC concrete frames. New modern mechanical and electrical servicing has been also provided throughout. With the ever-increasing focus on the climate and biodiversity crisis, we can expect a continuing greater focus on the repurposing of urban sites. Bolton's Key sets an ambitious benchmark in this regard. What we see today was realised through the skilled collaboration between all of the design team, including architects BKD, the client Savills, the funders NAMA, but also engineers from across the piece, from ARP with a full detailed design scope, engineers within the main contractor, enabling works contractor, specialist subcontractors, the temporary works designers, the assigned certifier, fire engineer, monitoring team, and also Dublin City Council's technical teams. The team truly delivered on the high performance brief with a Burr A3 certification for the redeveloped campus. It has a clear sustainability remit with the entire development targeting a LEED Gold standard. It will be a joy to see new life being brought into this magnificent space.